Hello, today I have a theory crafting thingy. I had an idea and I wanted to test it. And my idea was support DPS by Ling. This beautiful lady, girl, lady. The idea behind it is, was it called? Star 5, eight, five A5, five. dodge skills inflict a grievous effect on targets for seven seconds. And if we look, grievous makes the enemy take 20% extra damage. Bruh. Getting into how Grievous works, I did a post on Reddit. I asked, does this damage increase help you break shield faster? It's a damage increase, it should. I did some testing. Shield breaking is like, what's so annoying if it does because we don't have proper testing grounds, you know? Uh, is there a cooldown time where you can't apply the debuff on the enemy again? None. So I tested it as well. There isn't a cooldown. I tested a couple times, it was on like uh, simple enemies. They didn't have a cooldown on the debuff. Uh, can you apply to anyone, world bosses and so on. I haven't tested on every type of enemy, but world bosses for sure counts. And lastly, I asked, does this increase your party damage? Jan did some testing with party members. It does increase the damage of your party members. Jan, SG, uh, I hope that's your name. Thank you for the replies. Now, why do I think this is such a big deal? Let's look at relics, for example, right? So this is considered one of the best relics in the game and because of star 5 when you pass the shield you gain damage increase of 25% for 5 seconds and then space time rift as well star 3 increase damage dealt to targets in the area by 20% so talking about this relic right for a new player it's going to take a lot of time to get them whereas by ling I mean you're pulling let's look at my weapon right nothing fancy by ling maxed 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 what i'm getting at is like sr weapons you're gonna max them pretty fast and then looking again at her stats uh shatter is okay it's like samir yeah the same as samir and charge then here apply a debuff of grievous wounds for seven seconds so it's the same as charging up the weapon and then attacking the enemy but you don't have to charge the weapon you just dash attack and then you can do it again and again even more so your passive, every five normal attacks, you get back uh, one dash, or whenever you use her piercing shot uh, skill, which is on 12 seconds cooldown. Looking at A6, increase crit rate to Grievous targets by 30% and crit damage by 50. So you could use her as a DPS as well. Sure, she's like a dollar store Tsubasa, if you would like to say so. But I think she could be viable for lower uh, combat score players. Especially now where we have a problem with players leveling up too fast and they're behind in CS and so on. So this is where the fun part was. The calculations I did, it was not a lot. I did 3 no buff, 3 with buff and king skill without buff and with buff. I chose Samir because she's my main DPS. I did her helicopter thingy attack, you know. In the air i jumped i didn't use a dash i jumped and attacked once i did the attack once i wrote down the numbers and then did it for every single one separately write down the numbers here you see a crit i i didn't count the crit explosions this is from her advancement i didn't count these same with buff First I did a dash, then the jump and attack. As for King, it's just using a skill without a buff. And then the same with a buff. So calculations. It's a lot of nothing going on. Samir helicopter attack, it hits six times. So I wrote every single hit i did it three separate times and then with buff i didn't take in a, into account by link's uh, dash attack on once i didn't really realize but once i killed the enemy in four hits because i crit two times so these are numbers from the explosions i had to use them to calculate the average it's just a sum and this is the average then uh, I did it some for both of these then I did the sum and average if I multiplied the 
by 1.2 so extra 20 percent on top and i compared these numbers to what these are it's pretty close 300 off it's pretty close i did the same thing with the sum total i multiplied it by 1.2 so extra 20 percent compared it to what they had here as you can see the numbers are a little different but like what i noticed it it's very inconsistent with some numbers you would need to do more testing this was just pretty simple so king skill this is with no buff i did it with buff only once yeah smart me this is the number if i multiplied it by 1.2 20% extra as you can see this is pretty close of course i could do more testing so now i took the number the sum total from no buff and with buff so how i did it was so basically it was this buff minus no buff and divide by the number with no buff. I got the percent increase, which was 16, 11, and 17. I did the average, which was 15.08. You will need to do more testing. This was pretty simple. When I'm done with all the calculations, it's an increase of about 15%. Of course, you could do more testing. And the way I see it is, let's say you're a support, right? And you play what's the support uh, meta right now nemesis coco i think and then something extra right so not only could you heal but if you use Biling, yeah you could buff the entire party damage that's like giving your entire party a samir buff samir simulacrum trait which i disabled for the testing so you get awakening you get full fully stacked samir buff which increases your damage by 20%. You give it to your team for seven seconds and you can spam it. Yeah, I know there's uh, matrices that buff your damage, attack and so on of your allies here, but they're not, you're not gonna get them that fast. Like I farmed for these. I got this because I used the matrix drop uh, tokens. This as well was from proof of purchase. I got it by luck. So they're not that easy to come by. Whereas to buy Ling, she's easy to get, she's easy to max, and she's got pretty good damage actually. Keep in mind she's level zero. The slash. Crit of 3000. Of course she's lacking matrixes and so on. But I think it's, it's huge bro. Look at this shit. get to jump so do you think this is viable a viable strategy is she usable or not 